guys, it's Brie. I started on a more strict vitamin regimen, which I went to visit a dietitian. And anytime that I feel like I'm getting something, I really try to focus on taking vitamins to prevent an illness rather than waiting till you already are sick and then taking antibiotics. The first thing that I take, I make sure that I take this on an empty stomach every morning, is Ultra Flora Spectrum. This is what it looks like. This is a probiotic. It's very, very important that if you're working on your immune system, you start with your gut and your body doesn't have a lot of probiotics. You have to put them into your body and you need them in the billions and it really is depleting your immune system if you aren't taking a probiotic so I will probably take this early in the morning I don't always take it because this vitamin is really expensive just this bottle 30 capsules it is almost $40 it's really really expensive but the way I rationalize it is how much is it gonna cost for a doctor's visit for antibiotics for a steroid shot or whatever it is to get rid of the sinus infection the flu whatever it's gonna be closer to $500. I think it's worth it in the long run. Also for probiotic, I drink this. This is called kefir. It really tastes like yogurt and it sort of just takes the spoon out of the equation. This is the probiotic strawberry smoothie and I really feel like it makes me feel so much better. I have gotten into the horrible habit of watching Gossip Girl. Oh my gosh, am I obsessed? and I started Gossip Girl and I started drinking this at the same time so what I would do is I have a heating blanket and I would get under my heating blanket and get this cold yogurt type of drink and I would watch Gossip Girl and I guess I have psychologically conditioned myself every time I watch Gossip Girl I'm like oh wow I really want some kefir and then I like to eat breakfast and once I've eaten breakfast I start taking my other vitamins I don't take all of this every Every single day I really sort of gauge how I'm feeling and decide from there if you're gonna take a probiotic you do need to take a fish oil or a flaxseed oil I am not going to take fish oil for personal reasons but I do take a high flaxseed oil it's organic and there are a thousand milligrams so it's really really awesome I take two of these a day. I also have been taking a GLA. This is GLA 240 and this is for hair, skin, and nails. While I have been taking this, I have noticed a dramatic change in my hair. It feels healthier, it has more body and volume. If you cannot find a GLA, a really, really good substitute is evening primrose oil. This is 500 milligrams and it has GLA in it. I really have not been to my dietitian and asked her which one is better. I mean, obviously I think she's gonna say pure GLA. GLA is better, but if I run out of this, and this is also very expensive, this is $25, and I think this was $5 at Whole Foods, so I take that. Again, I take so much that I don't take that every day. It's also really important to take a magnesium with all of this. That magnesium is really going to boost everything else that you're taking, and it makes you more energized throughout the day, and it also helps you sleep better if you have trouble sleeping, and I have restless legs syndrome and I find that it really kind of calms me before bed and it helps the restless leg syndrome and I kick a little bit less than I usually do. And also, through Dr. Oz's recommendation, he had Dr. Weil on a few weeks ago, and he said if he could recommend one vitamin for everyone, it would be CoQ10. So I have been taking this. It's really good for heart health. If your mom or dad has a problem with their high blood pressure or heart in their history, it's never too early to start taking a CoQ10. So I have a history of high blood pressure and heart disease in my family, so just for that that extra boost of health, I take this. And for my immune system, since I am so susceptible to colds, I've been taking an immune core vitamin. It just boosts your immune system. So I'm gonna read the ingredients on my immune core. The first thing it has is vitamin C, 333 milligrams, vitamin D and zinc. 
all of which you need in your system and it really really helps me if I'm just feeling like the sniffles coming on I take some of that and then I mix it with D3 5000 this is high potency vitamin D and you really really need this and it also helps for your skin and literally that that's all that's in this is vitamin D and some soybean oil so I really like to have pure vitamins I don't like if you go to Walgreens many times you see that it's mixed and if that vitamin is not the first thing labeled on your package you know that you have a problem the final thing that I do take is vitamin C with rose hips and this is a thousand milligrams of vitamin C also really really good if you feel a cold coming on and this is what I take for hair skin nails and my immune system again I want to reiterate I don't take all of this every single day this morning I basically have taken the immune system because it is cold season it's rainy it's humid and I live in New Orleans so the weather changes quite often that makes you way more susceptible to getting sick and I'm really trying to push my immune system during this time maybe in the summer when the weather is a little nicer then I'll push the more CoQ10 vitamin C just as a backup but this is what I take right now so I would recommend going to see a dietitian or a doctor and figure out what vitamins are the best for you and it will make your life turn around instantly I feel so much better having a complete system and knowing that my system is supported and that I am less susceptible to illness and that's what this video is just a vitamin haul so thank you guys for watching rate comment subscribe below and I'll see you next time bye